Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Romans chapter 8 verse 29. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning thanking you for another day in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ as we do try to give you thanks every day because your mercies and your blessings endure forever and it's just by you that we are preserved yet still thank you dear lord for friends families loved ones thank you for all those who give us good godly input in our lives who help to support us in times of need thank you for those who are willingly giving themselves over to you to be used by you to do your good acceptable perfect and holy will and we do pray that each and every one of us do so in each other's lives so shall we show the love of god if we have love one towards another and you have shown us this lord jesus christ in the ultimate display of love in that Whilst we were yet sinners, you died for us. You forgave us even when you were being put on the cross. You didn't let any sin be accounted to us on your behalf. And that's amazing in itself, dear Lord. So give us this mind, give us this heart. And yes, sometimes we pray these things and we don't even know what it entails when we say give, you, give us your mind and your heart. Because a lot of it means that we shall suffer for your sake. But I have all confidence that even though we suffer for your sake, because you have done all things, your spirit in us is able to persevere and cause us to overcome in all things. And this is our prayer yet still, because as your word said, the, the, the light afflictions, the light suffering that we, we shall endure in this life is nothing worthy to be compared to the glory that we shall have in you upon your return. So we hold fast to these things. We think on these heavenly things so that even though we shall go through the tests and trials of life, we shall not be utterly destroyed. But even though our, our flesh dies, or the inner man, the spirit man is renewed day by day through your Holy Spirit. So help us in these times, as we always ask each and every morning, as we go through these tests and trials, so we do not faint, nor falter, nor fall, nor deviate from the straight path, but that we endure and overcome through perseverance in you, by you, and for you, Lord Jesus Christ, and that we are able and equipped to bring these children up, the youth, to educate them in the knowledge and truth of who you are, in love and in example also, dear Lord. Not as hypocrites, but actually living your word through your Holy Spirit, so that they shall see this example from the youth, and when they are of age, they shall never neglect nor reject you. Lead us, therefore, in spirit and in truth in your word this morning to the glory of God our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. All right. So Romans 8 verse 29 says, For whom he did foreknow, he also predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. All right. Little testimony this morning, yeah? As I read it just now, we'll give a little testimony. As I remember when Christ began to open up my understanding to who he is, like, and I saw the error of my way and how, um, how merciful he was and is, right? And I saw how much I have put him through, through the sins that I committed in my life, right? I, I actually... I, I came to godly sorrow, right? Because I don't know. Well, it kind of was not easy, but it, it was it was 
I knew what it meant, right, um, to disappoint my Heavenly Father because I had that relationship with my father where I didn't want to, my earthly father, that I didn't want to displease him in life, right? I wanted to do those things that was pleasing to him, both him and my mother, right? So that uh, that's how I was raised, right? We do things as children to, to honor our parents, right? This is what how I was raised. So, as I said, it, not that it was easy, but I knew what it meant, what I, how my sin affected my heavenly father, because it would have been in a, in a, like a, the foreshadow of how I was raised would have kind of give me an indication, right? If I did something wrong, I know that my parents would be disappointed, right? I, I knew, as I said, we grew up in the love one to another, parents and siblings and, 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 and children, right? So, as I said, I came to that point where I was like, you know, Lord, like, forgive me, right? And I, I want to be like you. Like, the more I read about Christ and saw how perfect he is, right, I wanted to be just like him. But, obviously, the more we learn is the more we, we, we come to terms to what this entails. And this is what I was trying to um, get to that point. Because a lot of times we don't realize that to be conformed to the image of Christ does entail that we ought to, to manifest his love. Yeah, that to be honest, no. Let me say, that is what most people would know. Like, yeah, you manifest his love, his light, his life. But in his life also, it, it, it entails suffering. <laughs> and people might say, why this brother? Why this, this guy always have to bring up? suffering suffering what's this deal with suffering to be honest it's not me it's, it's i'm not even trying to bring it up all the time it's the scripture that brings it up right and having read reread this chapter this morning again even if we read from verse 15 down to to 17 are talking about being glorified in christ right because that is what we want to do we want to bear that image of christ being children of the most high god in the likeness of christ let's read from 15 so it's a four ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but ye have raised you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry abba father the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of god right we bear his image through his spirit right and if children, then heirs and heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So as I said, it's not me always bringing up these things. And as I said, even when I, when I just came to know Christ, I, I, I didn't uh, grasp the whole extent to what it means to be conformed to his image. But the more I followed like seek his face and followed him is the more i noticed that i know it, it, it entails it's always going to have some kind of suffering because the image of christ is perfect and our flesh is corrupt so we have to mortify the deeds of the flesh and as i said just read the chapter for yourself and it will back up everything that i'm saying mortify the deeds of the flesh and being led by the holy spirit so that we can be children of the most high god as we just read there right so as verse 28 says everything is going to work good for those who love god right we love him because we want to please him want to serve him want to do all those things that are well pleasing unto him right if we want to be real children as i said just growing up and having my parents and wanting to please them because they are my parents i want to honor them because i love them not out of any other there wasn't any other <coughs> emotion that was involved in it but that i love them i wanted to honor them right likewise as i said we as children of the most high god want to please him want to honor him and we only can do so if we follow christ because christ is the only one where the heavens opened up and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased so he was the example of pleasing our Heavenly Father. And likewise, we conform to his image by living that life. And that life entails love, loving one towards another, 
mortifying the deeds of the flesh and in that there's going to be suffering but as we, the scripture says we cannot compare those um these these present suffering to the glory that we shall receive right i can't even find it now but it's there right it's there read the chapter for yourself well i'm going to leave it at that this morning a nice little short one um any questions anything that you want to send in you can send into the word at eatreach1.org or you can comment in the comment section and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow